guys want to make the best Roblox execute in 2025 that is completely working without any key system, make sure you keep watching this video till the end. Subscribe if you're new and let's get on with the motherfucking video. Okay guys? No, I'm kidding. Alright, so this is how you make the executor. You want to go ahead and download Visual Studio 2022 from the link in the description. Go ahead and click create a new project real quick. Let's just choose Windows Forms. Keep it simple. Let's name it toughest ass executor ever. It's going to be the best executor of all time. So let's choose a net 8.0. You don't have to mess with that. Just go ahead and click on create. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you want to go ahead and click on dependencies. Right click on it actually. You want to go ahead and click browse and find the Quorum API. You can get the link to this in the description down below. So now let's go ahead and click add and OK. So now what you got to do is come up here to the top where it says any CPU. Click configuration manager. You want to go ahead and click new on this one where it says platform. And now click new platform, change it to x64 like this. You can just leave this as is. Alright, so now we can actually like get to design in the execute. I'm gonna like use really massive fucking air quotes when I say design. Now let's drag on two buttons down below. We're gonna call this one inject. And we're gonna call this other one oh fuck. I'm gonna call this other one execute. Execute. So now you can just double click on the buttons. So outside where it says Toughest spelling error, toughest is not a word. <laughs> Alright, fuck you then. Right, how do I get rid of this fucking error that's trying to think like it's proper bad man? Under where it says form one, what you wanna do, private quorum module API, like this. So now you can actually like start using the API. You wanna do API equals new quorum module, you know, just at the top. But you'll actually have to do that at the bottom of this. Alright, so now you can start making the inject button. So literally all you have to do is API attach API and then for execute just do API execute script and then type in which box text box one dot text and that's pretty much it you've made your own executor so now we can go ahead and build this by going to the top clicking build solution you can see that there's a path here so you want to go ahead and copy this path into your file explorer and paste it in x64 and debug like this just keep following and now it is but you'll need to like copy some files over so just open up a new file explorer and you'll see here you want to copy it go ahead and copy over the bin folder the quorum api folder and also the script folder and now let's close out of everything else let's open up the executor and boom here's the executor so now let's go ahead and open up roblox and test it shall we all right so now we're in the game we can just go ahead and inject the executor now that it's relaunched Injects it successfully, click OK. So now let's go ahead and click the console. There we go. There we go, it's working now. I don't know what the fuck I had to do, but for some reason, pretty fuck made it just spring back into action. It's a level 8 executor. I'm not sure the UNC test. I'm gonna go ahead and do that actually. So I did have to execute it like a few times for it to work, but you can see it has a 92% success rate. So that is pretty fucking good. All right, so you can see that scripts work completely fine. I'm executing a pretty heavy script for Brookhaven. And as you can see, it works pretty fine. This script is kind of OP, I can't lie. It's got like a bunch of fucking like super cool like commands and shit. But that's gonna be all for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you have a big penis. Make sure you check out all the links in the description if you want to make your own Roblox executor that's working without a key system in 2025. That's all from me. Make sure you subscribe and peace.